In a heavily saturated portable wireless speaker market, it's tough to take a look at any new product and say, wow, this is really more than a Bluetooth speaker. At a glance, the iRo on deck looks kind of just like a black and orangey gold coloured RAW 2 with a new ring on top. However, I know to expect much more, as Creative have claimed that this is the most intelligent speaker on the planet, with twice the power of the original RAW and 20 hours battery life. Now, amazingly, the frontal lobe of this mobile operation is the same Sound Blaster AX1 digital audio processor that's found in the Creative SBX family of sound cards and speakers, meaning we've got some serious high quality digital processing on board. This equipment allows the iRaw to do fancy things like make real-time adjustments to the sound, expand and partially rebuild compressed audio, and deliver optimized low end of various volume levels. On top of this, it's all programmable. Creative are even providing a software dev kit that allows artists and producers to provide listeners with a small file that can customize the iRaw's audio processing and performance at the lowest level. Pretty amazing. This high-end sound is then delivered to its environment through a set of Creative's all-new drivers. Up front, there's two lightweight 1.5 inch mid and high range drivers, and then handling the low end is the dedicated upwards facing 2 and 3 quarter inch subwoofer driver. Rounding out the sound delivery are the two passive radiator drivers found at each end of the speaker, similar to its predecessors. These new drivers use neodymium technology with more efficient magnets, which help keep the eye roll's size down. This is all encased in a new monocoque or one-piece endoskeletal chassis to ensure there's no unwanted vibrations or shaking. Impressively, all of this audio hardware amounts to a package that weighs in at just 1.1 kilos or 2.5 pounds, making it a very portable unit overall. To me, the iRaw really does look like a future iteration of the RAW and RAW 2 before it. It's like the Porsche to the predecessor's Volkswagen. The overall shape is rather similar, but there are some distinct differences. Probably most notably, the passive radiator panels that once were have now been replaced with a slightly receded speaker grille that matches the front and top of the speaker. This means that you don't get that cool visual effect during heavy bass, but it looks nice overall and I think we can live without it. On top, the uninterrupted speaker grille has been saddled with a large black ring that allows easy NFC pairing and it lets us know that it's designed by Creative. The control buttons at the top rear have been upgraded to adaptive and context sensitive intelligent touch controls, meaning depending on the selected mode of the speaker, the applicable buttons will light up and offer their functions. First there's an actual pressable power and Bluetooth pairing button, followed by mode switch, full playback controls and a record button. The raw button is next, followed by mic beam, mic mute, phone dial and end and finally the volume controls. All of these touch buttons are responsive and work rather well. They certainly make the entire device look and feel more premium too. Completing the top of the device is a subtle hot glow LED display that shows you what's happening on the device at the time, along with dual array microphones for recording and phone calls. Around the back, you find the remaining inputs and outputs. At the left is the power input, followed by the USB audio port. Next to that we have the micro SD card slot and a toggle for shuffling or simply looping the media on it. There's a 3.5mm audio in jack and optical import, and finally a 1.5 amp USB charging port for charging other devices such as your smartphone. It's cool to have all these options for input, especially the micro SD card and optical jack. In my opinion, the overall look and style of the iRaw is great. It's stylish and professional, and friends that I showed the speaker to were immediately impressed. The iRaw manages to look as premium as it is. It only comes in one colorway at this stage, and it's a colorway that I'm honestly a big fan of. The deep blacks are sleek, and the metallic orange features really set the design off. The red featurettes are the final fierce touch on an all-around impressive design. The self-proclaimed smartest speaker in the world comes with a wealth of features, as you'd expect, and customization is the name of the game. Most of the control and interaction is handled by the iRaw, Android and iOS apps, where you're able to do a multitude of interesting things. First, there's a group of pre-configured profiles to suit audio situations, such as Game On for gaming, Audiophile Bliss for unmodified music, Cinemania for movies, and a couple of others. Using the equalizer function, you can also quickly slide bass and treble levels up and down to suit your audio and your personal preference on the fly. With the immersion function, you can control how directional the sound spread is, which I don't find too useful personally. There's a dialogue plus function that improves speech clarity in particular for podcasts, movies and games too. The smart volume menu offers two pretty cool functions also. Auto mode makes sure that playback is always at a consistent volume, even at low levels, and night mode makes midnight movies less disruptive to your household by reducing the impact of explosions and other loud events, but also keeping dialogue and other sounds at an audible level. There's also a variety of add-ons you can install through the Ira app too. With these you can enable functionality such as an alarm clock, a metronome, a jukebox and more. 
Creative has a software development kit for the iRoll 2 that will hopefully lead to some talented developers creating some pretty cool apps and add-ons for iRoll users. Quite interestingly, the iRoll has its own PA function, so long as you opted for the extra iRoll mic, which is available for 80 US dollars. The mic is small, light and can conveniently clip onto your shirt or pocket easily. You can also connect an external mic through a little input jack on the bottom of the mic too if you've got another mic that you want to wirelessly transmit to the speaker. The mic functionality doesn't end there either. There's a line in port too so you can play music through the mic wirelessly to the speaker and lastly port wise is the micro USB charging port. The face of the mic features speaker volume controls, mic sensitivity controls and finally the emote button. The battery in the mic should last 10 hours and you also get a little foam windscreen to plug onto the top of the mic and this cleverly stays put with a small magnet. Performance wise the mic was pretty cool. I did have some feedback issues if I was too close to the speaker however and I could see this being a potential issue if you're going to use it to make a presentation for example. In some ways this PA function is a really cool feature but I do struggle to see situations where I would personally find it very useful. It is fun to mess around with and with the emote button you can put your voice through a variety of pretty funny filters including chipmunk, orc, alien, emo and more. If you're into karaoke then you might have fun with the mic but in terms of using it as a PA the speaker is not really loud enough to cover a large area more than most people could just yell instead. The 10 meter range of the mic means that you can't really use it to communicate from afar either. For me, the best use I could think of with the PA function was to hide the speaker behind the couch or under the bed and prank people with a chipmunk voice. Funny a couple of times, but maybe not worth the $80 however. A separate app named Remote Assistant allows you to access and control media stored on the micro SD card connected to the speaker itself. This is pretty nifty as before you were limited to simply the media playback buttons on the speaker itself with no ability to see track names, select individual songs or see what's playing next. In terms of the SD card you can also record your voice to it directly and access these recordings through the app too. Now let's talk about the sound performance. As mentioned, the iRoll features five drivers. Powered by one amp, two one and a half inch front facing drivers handle the majority of the mids and highs, and powered by a separate amp is a two and three quarter inch upwards facing driver that handles most of the low range. Additionally, two passive sideways facing drivers help deliver more bass and more spread of sound. Admittedly, I haven't tested a lot of Bluetooth speakers in this sort of price range. However, I can comfortably say that the iRoll is the best portable speaker I've ever heard. The sound produced is nice and even with a good spread amongst lows, mids, and highs and the sound dispersion is excellent. You don't need to be sitting in the exact right spot in the room to get the right sound. Above around 75% volume the low end sound becomes a bit lacking but having said that this is a very loud speaker and the high quality sound lasts until much higher volumes than you'd expect from a speaker of this size. One thing we didn't have on hand to test was the iRoll Rock, an external subwoofer that the iRoll can quickly and easily dock onto through a connector on the bottom of the device. This is a cool option to have and I can imagine users leaving the subwoofer in their living room and docking the iRoll for added bass and full bodied sound for movies and music in particular. The iRoll packs a mighty battery inside too. 9000 milliamp hours will give you up to 20 hours of playtime depending on volume and mode and you can also charge your phone or the iRoll mic for example from it too as mentioned. All in all, the iRoll is a pretty amazing piece of hardware. On the back of the sound quality and appearance alone, it was an absolute pleasure to use and I was very keen to show it off to everyone and anyone within earshot. The functionality of the iRoll is unprecedented as far as I know and the ability to customise the sound and more through the mobile apps was really quite cool. The iRoll is listed on Creative's website for $307 US and $600 in Australia, so it's far from cheap. This is not the speaker for the non-discerning listener that just wants a quick sound solution, however it is the solution for the audio enthusiast who wants a wealth of customization and exceptional digital audio processing at their fingertips. So is the iRoll a Bluetooth speaker you'll be considering? Why, why not? Let me know in the comments or on our forum at hardwareunbox.com. Thanks for tuning in for another product review, I'll look forward to seeing you next time.